Over the past couple of months, I've been seeing a lot of UFO reports on paranormal websites. Way more than I usually see. And I always find UFO sightings to be interesting, but most of the time, I don't really feel the need to cover them. But when I saw Secure Team 10's video about the UFO that looked like a flying human, I wanted to dig in a little bit more because that one really piqued my interest. A couple of weeks ago in Brazil, some people were driving and they saw what appeared to be a flying human just floating in the sky. And I did find this video to be very interesting because it looks like whatever this is, is not even moving at all. It just appears to be magically floating. And when I saw this video, I wasn't really thinking UFO as in aliens, I was thinking flying humanoid. Because I have covered a lot of cases in the past about flying humanoid sightings in this part of the world. One of the most famous cases happened in Mexico when an officer stated that while he was on patrol, he had an encounter with a flying humanoid. And that this creature actually attacked him. And still to this very day, this officer's story has never changed and he is not the only one. Over the past decade, there have been hundreds of people claiming to have also seen one of these creatures. So when I saw this footage, it did make me wonder if this is what these people were seeing. Not a UFO, but a flying humanoid. Or of course, it could just be a strange cloud formation. Now this footage reminded me of another sighting that happened in Sydney, Australia that happened back in October. And when looking back at that footage, I was surprised at how similar they are. And this object that looked like a flying human over Sydney was seen for about five minutes. And these eyewitnesses also reported that it could disappear and reappear. But unlike the Brazil sighting, this object was moving, but in the end, nobody could figure out exactly what it was that they were looking at. Then we also have another sighting of a flying humanoid that happened last October in the Middle East. Now some said that it was nothing more than a rocket breaking up in the sky, and of course that could be exactly what it was. But the strange thing about this sighting is that it was practically identical to the sighting that happened in Australia. So over the past couple of months, we now have three confirmed sightings of a UFO that looked like a flying human. Making me wonder if there are going to be any more sightings of these flying humans in the near future. Then on March 30th, passengers on a plane started to see something very odd outside their window. And thankfully, they were able to record it with a decent camera. And I must have watched this a dozen times and whatever this is, is not a cloud. And if you take into account that it was pretty far away and surrounded by clouds, it could be a solid object. And when the passengers saw this thing, they were very shocked. Then about a month before this sighting, two pilots from different planes had a very strange encounter with something that they just couldn't identify. The first to see this UFO asked over the radio if another plane or something had just passed over them. The pilot asked, was anybody above us to pass us about 30 seconds ago? And the air traffic controller replied negative. Then the pilot replied, well, something did. Then about a few minutes later, the air traffic controller started to talk with another pilot that was real close to this location. And he asked the pilot if he had seen anything flying in the sky. And the pilot at the time replied no. But then about a few minutes later, he let the air traffic controller know that he had just had a very strange encounter with something that he just couldn't explain. The pilot stated that he didn't know what this thing was, but there was just no way that it was an airplane. Now, a lot of UFO sightings do seem to be some sort of craft with something intelligent controlling it. But sometimes it could simply be something explainable. I remember a case that happened in Saudi Arabia when a lot of people saw a black horse flying in the sky. And this was happening during a very bad thunderstorm. And the people who were looking at this flying horse believed that it was a sign. And they were extremely excited and happy to witness this. But in the end, it was just a balloon. Now, a lot of people believe that since there are just so many UFO sightings being reported lately, the aliens are trying to make it clear to us that they do exist and that maybe pretty soon, they might reveal themselves to us. But some are saying that these sightings are nothing more than top secret government aircrafts. And if that is true, we must be a heck of a lot more advanced than we think. Now, I personally think that it's possible that it could be the military, but there have been UFO sightings like these going back ever since man first looked up at the sky. And I would like to believe that whatever is controlling these crafts are just watching over us, making sure that we don't blow ourselves up. But sadly, that probably isn't true because we are constantly at war. But it does give me some comfort to know that because of all these UFO sightings that have been going on for thousands of years makes me believe that we are probably not the only intelligent life form in this universe.